what's up I'm the top my doom here doing another video for you guys and this time we're going to be talking about Breakout Beast Series 6. Now we talked about this previously with its little egg cocoon thing and that was actually the first image that revealed that we were going to get a 6 series of Breakout Beast. But what's interesting is they're not all going to be blue. The colors are going to match the Breakout Beast that you're going to get. So let's say if you have a breakout beast that has a primary color of blue, you are going to get a blue egg. If you have a breakout beast that's in red, you're going to get a red egg. There's even a purple egg, which is pretty good. There are no green eggs, but of course we've got that previously with the Series 5 lineup. Anyways, I'm going to start off with the first picture and they all retain the gimmicks that we talked about previously with the Series 5 lineup. Those all come back, so if you love those, great. If you don't like those, well then... Yeah, this is going to be kind of unfortunate. But uh, the first one I'm going to talk about is Telium. Now, one thing you'll also notice is that some of the names seem to have to do with elements or planets. It's kind of weird how that's done. But anyways, uh, Telium looks pretty good. I like the light blue armor pieces and the wings on the top there. It's mostly black for the beast itself, but it does have some green paint applications which look really good. The head design is the dinosaur sculpt, and you will notice that none of the molds are brand new. The combination of parts is different, and some of the colors are going to be new, but there's no new head sculpt for this wave, which is the first of its kind. We've never had a wave where it didn't introduce a new head design. Anyways, going back to Telium, I do like the contrast in colors, and I also really like the name for some reason. We also have Netfault, which kind of reminds me of some of the other horse-esque uh, breakout beast, especially the one that actually came from Series 5 because it's got a similar color scheme, but this one seems to have some silver slime. I do kind of like the purple wings, and I do like the purple mane, but we've also seen that before, and uh, the combination is fine. I also like the white lightning strikes that go across even the mane. It's okay. And then we also have, I believe this is Chupiter? I think I got that name right. Now, he's the only one that doesn't have the instructions, and that's how I was able to pinpoint which name goes to which, because they weren't separate on the website itself. So I'm going to assume that this one is Chupiter, because no instructions, and that's the only name that was missing out. Anyways, this one retains that shark head that was introduced in Series 5, but it's in orange this time, and you also have that nice orange winged slime dripper thing, whatever it's called. And uh, the combination of colors is actually pretty decent on this one. It's not just everywhere, all over the place. No, you get the idea of it, and uh, I think it looks pretty good. And then moving on to the second image, we have Venevius. Venevius? I'm sorry, some of these names are kind of hard to pronounce. But uh, anyways, apparently this one's going to be more like a, a spider type because it's got four additional legs. That's an interesting idea. And uh, the top portion of the beast does look more like a dragon. I kind of wish that they introduced maybe like an insect or a spider head. I know that some of the spitters have that insect head, but uh, a proper one that would actually fit the breakout beast for the full scale, uh, that would have been nice. Uh, by the way, all these have the slime launchers that really don't work. Uh, I've tried it multiple times. I've probably got it to work maybe once or twice, and that's about it. But uh, I do like the idea of this. I do like the fact that you get all those limbs. It's different. It's creative. And uh, yeah, I'm interested. We also have Chrono Turn, which looks like some sort of undead breakup piece. I don't know why I get that effect with it, but uh, it's mostly transparent. You do get that shark head again, which is in kind of an orangish tint. I wish that they introduced that head in maybe blue or green or even red because we've gotten three shark head breakout bees that have some sort of orange to them. So maybe you should have tried something a little different, but uh, I do like the idea of using those rigid tail pieces as the arms. I, I think that's pretty creative. And uh, overall it looks fine. And then we also have Mercurex, um, which is really wild looking. It looks like it's got a potential new hair piece, but I think, or horn piece, but I think that's reused from something else. I'm pretty sure of it because that'd be kind of weird if that's the only new piece. 
Um, but uh, again, nice paint applications with the red going all throughout it. Uh, it might be transparent. Also, some of these might have some glow-in-the-dark parts. I'm not sure about that. Uh, the tail does seem extremely long for this one, but um, overall, you know, not too bad. I kind of like it. It's, uh, its head kind of looks like it's just flesh peeling off. Uh, I don't know if anyone else gets that effect, but uh, that one also retains that dinosaur head. And then last but not least, we've got these slime blowers, which are the most effective gimmick from this line, I guess. Unless you count the uh, slime dripper, it's just, it makes a mess. But I guess this one is probably the best gimmick out of all of them. I don't know. But uh, we have Soul Scorch, which uh, retains that Series 2 Breakout Beast Dragon Head, which I really do like. I'm glad that they're bringing that back. It's also got some red paint applications in the wings. I'm glad that they're bringing that piece back again. And uh, yeah, it, it looks decent. Uh, it, it's definitely got this glowing effect to the eyes that I do like, but uh, yeah, looks pretty good. We also have Terrorize, which I can't stop thinking of Beast Wars every time I see that name. Uh, you also have this flowery piece, this vegetation that goes onto the wings themselves. And uh, that's a nice effect. The color combination is uh, maybe a little, I wouldn't say out there because it's not like, it's not crazy, like we're not mixing green, yellow, and blue, but you do have a lot of chunks of parts that are just gray or blue. And so the combination, the blend doesn't really work there, but uh, I think it looks fine enough. And uh, it retains that wolf head as well, which is pretty good. And then last but not least, we got Grimors, Grimars? think that's its name but uh, I really do like this one it's a nice deep red uh, I do like the griffin head itself which is pretty good and um, yeah the black paint applications going on in the wings very nice so anyways that's my opinion on the breakout b series 6 please comment below your opinion and let me know like comment share subscribe and all those fun dudettes and I will see you guys next